we have finished decorating our seahorses. Um, and if you're not quite finished coloring your seahorse, that's okay. Um, you can always take some time later today after camp or after the activity, whenever you have a little free time and just add extra details. That's the great thing about this project. You can just grab your markers whenever and like add to it and make it even cooler. I'm sure it's already super awesome though. Um, so Angela, how did yours turn out? Mine turned out a little crazy, but that's what I like about this project is my seahorse doesn't have to look exactly like a seahorse that you might find in the water, but it has a little design to it and a little bit of color. Nice. And since I left my seahorse on the paper, I was able to draw more fins on the side. How about you, Madeline? Um, yeah, I just decorated mine with a lot of little lines and I like how it turned out. I think it's fun. It has a nice happy smile, which I like, so yeah, all good. Great. So what should we do next? So the next step is to grab your coffee filters because it's time to use those. Um, so what we're going to do is cut each coffee filter into like eight little triangles. Um, and if you want... Um, if you want less triangles, that's okay too. These are basically just going to go on the seahorse as fins because seahorses have like fins coming off of their back usually. Kind of looks like a mohawk hairstyle. Um, it's kind of funny. So to cut it in half, the best way to do that is to fold your coffee filter just in half so you have a nice little half um, circle shape like a smiley face and then unfold it and you should have like a line going through that's called a crease and you just want to take your scissors and you're just going to cut right down the middle of your coffee filter. Um, yep, so you're going to cut down the middle of your coffee filter and so then you have two halves. I'm gonna give these to Angela while I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, so you have two halves. So take, you can take them both. And this is a good trick to cut faster. Um, you can take them both and put them together so they match up. Fold them in half. And then unfold them. And then just cut right down the middle again. Like that. And then now you have one, two, three, four pieces. And you're just going to cut all of these in half too. Um, so I'm going to do them all at once. But you should probably do them one at a time. So I'll cut them all at once for this one. And then um, while I talk about what to do next, um, I'll have Angela keep showing us how to cut one coffee filter like one at a time instead of layering Like them. this? Yeah, like one at a time. Mm -hmm. So you can just take these, fold them in half, make a little crease, and cut. So if you already cut your um, filters, that's okay. I realize I messed up and missed a step. Um, but you're going to need to use more filters. So one thing you can do either with your triangles or with a new filter is just to color the filter and add some designs um, because you might want your seahorse's mohawk to look, or fins, <laughs> to look really colorful. So I'm just going to take a coffee filter and I'm going to color it yellow. And your markers might bleed through. Um, your coffee filter, so I'm just going to use my jellyfish drawing from earlier as a back, as kind of like a mat for it. And I'm going to like put it under my coffee filter while I color it so that it doesn't get on my table. So that's going to be colored. That one I'll cut later. Um, I'll add some color to some of these, so I'm just going to draw some yellow lines on these guys and maybe like some green and red yeah so so if you have a few you should have a few coffee filters to work with so right now you can just 
take a couple minutes and add some color to them. Um, but like I always said, you can just work, you can also just focus on cutting out your filters right now and you can always come back to it later in the day and color it in. Um, so just take your time, work at your speed, um, and remember that you can always come back and add more details. But we're just gonna keep moving along over here. I drew my coffee filter with just some purple lines. Ooh, I like that. Okay. I'm just going to decorate these already cut out pieces. Almost done. I'm going to make a purple one. And those pieces you cut out earlier, you can also color. Yeah. Any color you want. Yep. And if you only have a couple colors, that's fine. Whatever you want to use. So if you have some pieces that you're ready to glue on, um, we can start that now and then Angela's going to keep on working. So we'll just kind of come back to this step again and show you again. So don't worry if you're not ready to glue on yet. If you are ready to glue on, I'm going to show you how that works. So I'm going to take my seahorse. This is the side I want to be face up. I'm going to flip it over to the face down side. So just the plain side with no decorations. And then I'm going to grab my glue stick and open it up, get it to a good height. And then I'm going to take my first fin and I'm just going to add some glue to the very edge of my seahorse. So if you kind of see that purple dot, that's where I added my glue. And then I'm going to take my fin and I'm just going to stick it on um, so that the pointy side, the smaller side, the pointy side is touching the glue so that that part glues on. And then now we have this nice flowy fin coming off the seahorse. So I'm just going to keep repeating that with the rest of the fins that I made. So let's do a blue next. Now, for those of you who have the seahorse with the background, you'll still be able to glue on your fins. So, what I would start with is taking one of your fin triangles and just folding the first tip in. So you can put glue on this side and put it right on your horse, like that. Ooh, good idea, Angela. And if you're doing that too, another option, um, if you don't want to fold, you could just cut, I don't want to cut that way. You could just cut the tip off of it and so that it's more of like a rectangle trapezoid um, shape and you could glue it on like that. So you can fold or you can use your scissors and cut off the pointy part. try your way. That sounded pretty good because my pieces are a little long. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely feel free to get creative and um, change the size of your pieces if you want. You can cut bigger pieces. You can cut your already cut triangles in half and make little pieces. Um, so yeah, just, just see what works for you, what you like to do. Um, I'll show you where I'm at. This is my seahorse. It's got lots of flowy fins. It's really fun. Um, and I like it like this, but I think I might add another layer on. So I'm going to get my coffee filter again. Um, Angela, can I borrow the scissors? Of course. Awesome. And I'm just going to do some more cutting with the coffee filter. Move that out of the way. Cut that in half, and then I'm going to fold this side, open it back up, cut it in half again, 
And I think for the next layer of fins, I want to do like really big fins. So I'm just going to cut my coffee filter into four pieces next. Okay. So there we go. And here are the scissors back. Oh, thank you. So if you want to add another layer of fins and just kind of like have an extra fluffy seahorse kind of looks like this so you can see it's just kind of sticking out a little bit but it just makes it a little fluffier um you're gonna just put your glue on top of the see how i have these pointy sides on the back you're gonna put your glue on top of the pointy sides that are already glued onto your seahorse um, so you're just layering the coffee filter on top of the other coffee filters and yeah got your mixed media art a lot of times mixed media art projects have a lot of layers because there's different so many different things involved me another coffee filter yeah because I'm ready for my oh I guess I have this one. Oh, all good all mm -hmm. good yeah. so did you cut your big one just into bigger pieces yeah so I only cut it into I, four yeah I cut it into two halves and then I cut each half coffee filter in half again to make four pieces okay okay I'm gonna look at our time See how we're doing here. And we are almost done. Yeah, Angela. Once looks... you add that last layer, whether your seahorse is still on the paper or cut out, you'll have a nice looking shaped seahorse. Cool. You want to show them yours? Yeah, so this is mine. I'll come closer to the camera. And Angela, just FYI, we have about two minutes left in our art activity today. So don't stress if you're not quite finished yet. Just take your time. Remember, you'll have these supplies at home, so you can always finish them later in the day. Great. Thank you. All right, so here is my seahorse. He has very big, colorful fins. He's very fun um, and exciting. You can see the different layers over here of the fins. So there's one, there's two. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. And look, you can kind of make him swim around. Hi, Angela. <laughs> And here's my little seahorse that can come, and oh. I did several different colors. You can see here's the first layer of red and yellow, and behind there is the second layer with my purple. So now that I have my seahorse and I left it on the paper, I might draw some bubbles or a jellyfish or some other sea decorations. Awesome. Okay, well, we're about out of time for today, but remember, you can always finish up later. And I hope you had fun making seahorses and learning about mixed media art. And I just hope you have a really awesome week at camp. And we're so happy that we got to um, share this activity with you. So, yep. And just make sure to clean up and let your seahorse dry if it has a lot of glue on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then definitely if you have some extra time, take some time and share your artwork with your group and show them the awesome things that you made. Great. Have fun. Bye. Bye.